Well, good afternoon, and I hope you are all looking forward to standing up and going downstairs and walking around to see uh, the fabulous posters. Um, I was first asked to just give a brief overview um, about the Office of the Chief Scientist and the Office of the Regulatory Science and Innovation where we host the CIRCE program, which is our flagship program for regulatory science. Um, the Office of the Chief Scientist is a very special place. Um, you all had a chance to meet Namanjay Bumpus earlier. Um, we have the pleasure of working across um, with our partners across the agencies and all the different centers. Uh, we support uh, the Research Foundation, Science and Innovation that underpins FDA's regulatory mission. Mm -hmm. Our office, ORSI, is one of eight um, parts of the organization where we have a very large scope to do more than support research, support scientific integrity, uh, promote scientific excellence, support the advisory committees. Uh, we have the Center for National, uh, the National Center for Toxicological Research, where we have hundreds of scientists working very hard to support all the different centers across the agency on toxicological research, as well as many other things. Um, so that those folks help to provide the research expertise to support um, the regulatory processes um, and the infrastructure of the FDA product centers. In ORSI, I'm just gonna quickly go there just to have them all up. Um, I, I really wanna focus on our vision and that's to help accelerate innovations uh, through creative collaborations that harness the best science. And honestly, the collaborations with the CIRCES really help us do that. Um, I was grateful to, to Kathy and Koldev for announcing uh, the new Triangle CIRCE um, as a fifth CIRCE, a part of um, our group, which has been ongoing now for just more than a decade. And we're really excited about what the next five years will bring um, by strengthening the CIRCE program with additional um, academic institutions. Um, you'll get to see some of the research uh, through the posters. So you've heard a lot from our leaders. Um, so now you can hear from the scientists who are working on these projects. A lot of the scientists um, are from the academic institutions in the CIRCE programs, but you might not know that all of the CIRCE projects have FDA subject matter expertise as a part of it. And while we fund those projects, we do more than just fund those projects. We actually collaborate and work alongside um, the CIRCE investigators to conduct that research. Um, in addition to the regulatory science projects we do um, through the CIRCE program, we support cross-agency collaboration on science through our scientific working group program. You can see um, in the upper right-hand corner there are a variety of topics, including artificial intelligence, um, which was widely talked about today. We also fund um, almost $100 million in regulatory science research through our broad agency announcement, which is a research collaborative mechanism for us to quickly and expeditiously uh, fund R&D type research to help advance regulatory science priorities for the agency. And of of course, we have the intramural grants program. And with respect to what we're trying to accomplish through the CIRCE program, we have outlined uh, scores of outcomes of interest. So we've moved away a little bit from metrics um, to this term outcomes of interest because regulatory science is important not just for supporting FDA, but also for industry. When we think about regulatory science tools, methods, approaches, standards that help to support the evaluation of safety, effectiveness, quality of regulated products at FDA, it's not just to help FDA, it's also to help industry so that we're coming together looking at a similar body of science to come to similar conclusions. And so we recognize that the academic institutions are not just interested in, in generating new scientific knowledge, but disseminating that knowledge. But really, we are looking for that knowledge to catalyze some kind of action, a new committee, uh, a new public-private partnership, uh, supporting uh, advisory committees, and ultimately getting to the point where that scientific knowledge can inform regulatory decision-making. But that's where the piece is really tricky because it's not up to the academic institutions to do that, but that's why that partnership with FDA is so important. Um, and so just as a final note, um, we manage over 200 projects in our last um, grant cycle of five years, and we have 100 projects that have started already for this grant cycle, and there's a small, nimble team uh, behind the scenes helping to make those collaborations possible. Um, so thanks, Kathy, for the chance to introduce them. Thank you, Thank you so much, Tina. Okay, I'm gonna just end by telling you about the poster session. We have 32 posters. We also have poster winners. The posters are coming from 28 of 32 are from the CIRCES. So if you 
walk around the room, you will see a variety, as Tina was just saying, of different kinds of projects over a variety of FDA uh, subject matter. And so I think I want to highlight a couple. There's one on estradiol skin permeation. There's one on, there's several on uh, AI and using EHR adapted digital twins to translate clinical trials to real wor world patients. And there are other uh, 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 posters, including one from Laura Esserman's group on uh, breast cancer patients and disparities in metastatic breast cancer patient uh, trials. So that's also fabulous. We have poster winners, and these are our trainee winners. I'm going to name their names here. Um, and um, they're down there. Each of their posters has a blue ribbon on it, so you'll know the winner. Uh, so Ali Abbasi, not surprisingly, is one of the poster winners from UCSF. Phyllis Tangari. Tangaraj from Yale, she's a poster winner. Miriam Mugahali from Yale also. Evangelos, yeah, Yale just raked it in here. Um, <laughs> Evangelos Okonomo from Yale also. Um, and then Maximilian Siebert from Stanford. These are our poster winners. Let's give them a big hand. Two honorable mentions, both of them from UCSF, yay, Abigail Abioki and Brenda Miao from UCSF. We can give them a hand. And their posters are in. And finally, we will be sending out an evaluation via email to get your feedback about today's summit. Enjoy the poster session, everyone. Thank you.